I'm Matt Parker, and this is our new illusioneering baffling knot trick. The way it works is you take two bits of rope, and you're going to use these to tie a knot around your body. So we'll pass both ends of the rope across to here. We can actually discard one end of that. We can discard the other end of the other. There we go. Now what we do is with the two middle ones, you do an overhand knot, and then pull that tight. So I'm now tied firmly between two ropes, and that is the baffling knot trick. So how does the baffling knot trick work? Well, these are two normal ropes. I do take them, put them behind me, and pull two ends out each side. Now when I tie a knot in the middle by getting rid of this one, and getting rid of that one, it looks like the rope goes in from this side, comes out over here, crosses over, and goes off the other way, and the mirror image on the other side. But that's not actually the case. This rope here that goes behind me comes back out the same side. This rope here that goes behind me comes back out the same side. And so what this means is if I pull the ropes very tight like this now, they pop around in front of me. Now the obvious question is if a rope is going in this side and back out the same side, how are they staying up? And the secret is they're joined together in the middle with magnets. We've put a magnet in each rope, a little bit of clever engineering, and they snap together like that. And so whatever you do at the front, you can do a double knot like this. As long as you pull those apart, you're going to come free. That is how the baffling knot trick works. Now the baffling knot trick, along with a lot of rope-based tricks and magic, is based on having something that looks like a knot, but actually, it isn't. And magicians have spent a long time trying to find things that look like knots, but they're not, as have mathematicians. It's actually a current area of modern mathematics research to find a mathematical way to take any tangle of rope and to be able to determine if it's a knot or not. And while that may just seem ridiculous, and believe me, mathematicians do do it just for the fun of it, it's actually helping in cutting edge medical research. Because a lot of bacteria, when they replicate, their DNA gets tangled and knotted, and they have a special enzyme that helps them unknot. And people who are now studying knot theory are working with molecular biologists to see if we can develop new drugs that will target that enzyme and find ways to stop bacteria from unknotting their DNA, and therefore they can't replicate. And that's why I like ridiculous knot theory. For more about the maths and science behind this and other magic tricks, as well as PDFs and video resources for teachers, please visit illusioneering.org.